the difference between why are local shopping malls making a comeback? And I want to talk about even shop, shopping malls is kind of a, a, a big term. We're really talking about creating lifestyle destination developments. So Gen Z shoppers are bringing back the destination shopping experience. Uh, Kristen Grove, who's the senior vice president of national retail leasing, the global real estate firm JLL said they want a sense of community. They want to bridge the gap between the social media they're doing and meet and shop in person. Um, mall traffic is actually up 12% over pre-pandemic levels. And the studies and the numbers show that there's even greater for premier malls dotted with high-end stores, clean, attractive environments. And the presence of large outdoor retail spaces in creates an imme yeah, immense possibilities for entertaining your visitors. From fashion shows, cooking contests, live screens, football matches, you can organize various events. And this draws people. So a lot of the things that are happening where we're building these locations is where new development is happening. And our goal for what we're creating is we are creating a destination retail, which is very different than what retail was traditionally. Retail just had a few shops, may have had a Dunkin' Donuts or a Starbucks, a few other things. What we're really trying to create is a lifestyle center where people will meet, will mingle, and they'll be able to do different things. So there's a lot of common areas. Um, and near the end of this, we'll show a video. So one of the things I wanna make sure, cause we've talked several weeks about triple net. I just wanna make sure that people understand. So here I'm using AI, so I'm get, starting to get modern nowadays. You know, I never use these the two things, but triple net lease is a commercial lease agreement where the tenant pays for all the property expenses in addition to rent and utilities, things like real estate taxes, building insurance, and maintenance. So when someone leases a location in our retail locations, what they are doing is they are paying their rent, but they're also paying this thing called a triple net charge. And we'll show a little bit more about that, but it basically covers most of the operator operating expenses of the particular property. Very different to our multifamily developments where we have a lot of, you know, we have a lot of expenses. There's staff that is all kinds of things there. So the tenants in these locations pay everything. So they're popular with investors because they have less financial and managerial responsibilities for the property. They also have typically lower rent rates than other types of leases because these things are in addition, but tenants are responsible for covering any unforeseen maintenance costs or tax increases. So again, if something happens in the property, what they do is they look, they calculate a monthly dollar square foot. So they look ahead and they see what they think the expenses are going to be. They start charging the tenants. And then if they have an unusual expense, they will be able to by contract adjust what they're charging the tenants in triple net locations. So this was one of the locations we did. This is not quite a destination. This is a little bit more. I hope you like my little phone call. I had to find a graphic. So I like to put my funny face on everything. But this was one of the things that one of the retail developments that we're doing in Austin. So this is not necessarily a lifestyle, but this has gone into an area that has a lot of business traffic. So there was already a million square feet of industrial workspace and they were adding another half a million and they were also adding about 3,500 homes. This one is about 20 minutes from my house. I'm gonna show a little bit. We've talked a little bit about this particular thing and I wanna talk a little bit about the returns, but we'll talk a little bit more about those later on because it's a very different investment profile. So. Here's the returns that we're talking about. So we're talking about about a 1.72 multiple of your money, a 20% IRR roughly. This one does have a 7% preferred return. Um, this is your annualized return. This is obviously your multiple equity and it was a three year plan. So very different than on other ones where you may have some cash flow, right? So you put your $100,000 in the deal and we're actually 
building the property. And I'm going to show you some uh, of the, the things that we've been building on this particular property. Then in year two, we start generating a little bit of cash flow, but we're really just getting leased up. We just don't have enough tenants in there. So we're still covering, you can remember in year one, we're still covering all of the property taxes, all of the insurance, because there are no tenants there. And then in year two, as we start to put tenants in place, we obviously have some of those expenses covered, but then the goal is to be fully leased and occupied by year three. We get a little bit of cash flow, then you get your profits from your sale or refinance. So again, this you give us a hundred thousand dollars on this one, and our goal is to give you back a hundred and seventy-one and change. So this gives you a little bit idea of how a deal can be structured. So this is the current building here. So you can see from the original picture, um, starting to look a little bit like that. And now you can see we have some of the interior spaces. So again, on triple net development, what we do is we create, you can see this is one large box, but it clearly has some definitions of where spaces would be, but those spaces are fairly flexible depending on the tenant mix and the tenants you get. And you'll see if, you, if we go back to the, the, sorry, go back to here, you look at the drawing, this one here is for a restaurant. So it will be a little larger tenant and then there'll be another little larger tenant in the end. And then you can vary the sizes of these based on the tenants that actually apply to go there. But it, again, it's not totally without a plan. Um, so what I wanna talk a little bit about is, this is normally when we're doing a development deal, we show you a slide like this. So this shows you the site map where it's going to be located. You can see there's homes around it. And this happens to be one of the locations we're going to show you a video pine market at Wood Forest. Then you do an artist rendering of what this property is going to look like. So you can see this one is a different configuration. And this one actually has two story. Um, so they have some retail and some offices. And then they actually have some multifamily and above. Um, that was the one time we haven't done that on very many projects. And then again, this is what the development looks like when it's finished up and running. So you get a little bit of an idea. And again, we are creating a lifestyle destination, um, a lot different than what we're going to do as um, just a standard strip mall like the first one we showed. 